Hey everybody, welcome back to the Delta Project. We're playing Farming Simulator 19 on the Westbridge Hills map, so let's just jump right into this. We left off, we were planting some oats over here in this field, and we had just got done harvesting the uh, field 16 over there. So, found out uh, in the last, last episode of the Let's Play on Westbridge Hills that you have to wait for the plants to grow in their first growing cycle to be able to start spreading herbicide with a worker. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into the start really quick here, and we're gonna speed up our time scale just to get things moving. Um, all right, let's go check and see how much this guy's got going. All right, hopefully he should hurry up. So we're gonna take the JCB. And we're going to hook up to the trailer, and we're going to empty out what we have in the silo right now. Get a little bit of extra money, and hopefully we can start working towards um, getting some sugar beet production. So anyways, hopefully we can get this going. And let's get over here to... Where is it at? Is that it? I think, and so... Nope, that's it right there. That's where we got to go. Okay. Still trying to get myself oriented on this map a little bit. So, I seen this map in the mod store and I was like, yep, got to have it. Because I remember playing this, this is like the original map that I played. Because the first uh, first thing I ever got Farming Simulator on was um, an Xbox. And uh, this was the first map I ever played. So, I have many hours on this. So, we're going to start with wheat. And uh, we're just going to take it right up to the train station. No, actually, we'll go to the mill. I'm not even worried about where it's selling for for the most amount of money because we really don't have that much of it. Now, if we had a lot of it, then I'd be worried about uh, where we're going to go ahead and sell it. So I'm just going to cut across this field. Sorry for the farmer that owns it, which is not me. So we're just going to cut across this field here. All right, so I'm thinking that sugar beets would be the way to go. Wow, that field's growing really quick. Hold on. Alright, can we hire a worker to do this now? No. Alright, um... Well, that sucks. Is this John Deere almost done, though? Alright, yeah, hopefully when he's done, we'll get him sent over to field 16 and we'll start planting something different. Or maybe we'll just do another field of oats. How's that sound to you guys? Should we just do another... I think... I think another field of oats would be good. We'll just do oats for a little bit. And then, uh, I think everything in field 16, we'll go ahead and put in the silo. And then what we have in field 17, we'll go ahead and sell. And then, um, we should have a nice little, in case we, a uh, nice little backup in the silo from field 16. In case there's a great demand for some oats. Alright, so we just got over here to the sell point. We're going to go ahead and sell this. Hope we get a little bit of money for it keep our eye on that. Oh, wow. Going up quite a bit. A little bit more than I expected. Uh, 10,000. That's not bad. So, take the GCP. You get the cover. Get the cover closed. If it look, there it goes. Close the cover on this. Alright. So, the time of recording this video, my first farming simulator video has been up for a total of two days with six whole views. Very encouraging. Makes me want to get right on making this second video. <laughs> uh. Let's look it over here really quick. I suppose that's my farm over there, so I should, really should turn. And, uh... There we go, get the mini map back a little bit smaller. So let's, let's get over here and get another load of um, some sort of crop that's in there. Uh, okay. Slow down a little bit. Oops, 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 I missed it. Got a little excited there. There we go. Um, that doesn't even look like enough corn to... Uh, we'll leave the oats. We'll take the canola. I know canola sells for quite a bit, so... Get our lights on here. Alright. Let's switch over. Oh, there he goes! I guess maybe it's got to be to like the second uh, growing cycle then. But anyway, so he's on his way doing his thing. 
That's nice. I wonder if we're wasting our time here. Uh, weeds are on. Okay. So I didn't suppose that we're wasting our time completely. But, uh... Why did he stop? Or did he stop? No, it doesn't look like he's still spraying. So actually, what we're going to do is... We're going to finish up letting him do his thing. Alright, so when he's done, John Deere's done, we're going to take him over to field 16 and get him start planting. And we're going to take uh, the JCB real quick, and we're going to go ahead and drop this off at the train station. Or no, the mill. Yeah, the mill. Uh... <clears throat> oh, sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> Still trying to get over that little bit of a cold, head cold I had. Not COVID, just a little bit of a sinusy congestion type thing. You could probably, you could really tell in that first video I sounded terrible, absolutely terrible. Or maybe it was just me trying to be quiet so my wife didn't think I was an idiot. I'm sitting here talking to myself in the bedroom trying to record a video for a channel with. 12 subscribers on the last video of Farming Simulator only got 6 views, so probably think I'm stupid. But. Anyway, so we got this here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and sell this really quick. Hopefully we get quite a bit of money. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't imagine we're going to get a lot of money, but it's probably going to be more than wheat. Sixteen! That's actually not much more than I got for wheat. I mean, six thousand. Obviously, yeah, over a lot, a lot more, um, a lot more product that you sell is going to be, you know, your margins are going to be quite a bit different. But, I mean, six thousand to ten thousand. Yeah, well, I mean, six thousand, six thousand dollars to. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, it really would have been dead if this was real. <laughs> So we're just going to get the JCB and the trailer back, and uh, actually I should check to see, oh yeah, this guy needs to hurry up, start spraying his stuff. Alright, um, what are you doing, dude? Okay, so he, as of now, is looking like an idiot, so we're going to actually go ahead and slow this time scale down. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, we need to back out of what we're doing here. Slow the time scale down so these crops don't grow before they can get sprayed with the herbicide. Because that would be um, that would be kind of pointless to even have him do his thing if half of the field was going to be um, um, ready to harvest before he even sprayed the herbicide on it. So we're going to let him go. I think, I can't decide, but what, maybe we'll just leave, uh, we'll keep that little sprayer for now and then eventually we'll work our way up and we'll get a, get a good sprayer. So my phone is going crazy right now. Hello, house. So we're going to uh, pull in right here. Yeah, we can clear that tree. Okay. So we're going to pull in right here. We're going to unfold. I'm going to go ahead and whip him around and line him up pretty good. There we go. All right, we got him started on his track. Now we get the JCB back and finish up getting the rest of uh, the crops out of the silo and get them sold. Already up to 81,000. That's not bad. That is not bad. <clears throat> I don't know how much. I can't decide. Should we lease a sugar beet harvester or should we just wait until we get enough money to buy one? Hmm. And is sugar beets even the way we want to go or do we want to go ahead and buy another harvester you know what we could do we could just lease another harvester for the time being and then uh, harvest enough until we can afford to buy a sugar beet who's got the next month I will right, we'll take the sunflowers I think mm, because leasing you know you gotta pay per day on the equipment and I believe the amount of hours that you use it. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Oh, no, that's what we need to get. Um, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. We need to get stuff to spread lime. It's field 17, we went over there. They were It was low on lime. So that's actually one of the more important things that we need to get 
a hold of and do pretty quickly. And also, probably a plow, because one of these fields are going to be plowed pretty soon. But that will all come in due time. Due time? Good time? Sometime? I don't know. The, we will eventually get there. So let's uh, just take a quick little stroll down to here. And we're going to put and sell this. All right, good. Almost time for the big harvest on field 17. That'll be nice. That'll be a lot of money, and we'll be able to start getting some better equipment. I mean, we have good equipment, but I mean, uh, oh wow, sunflowers are pretty good. I wonder how much sunflowers. You, I've never actually done a field of sunflowers, so I wonder how sunflowers yield compared to the other crops. Because if they yield pretty good, then uh, like I talked about in the first video, you know, some crops yield more than the other ones, and it's more cost effective to put your time in into crops that will yield more versus ones that will, that will sell for more. For, for two in the morning, it's pretty well and bright outside, huh? Turn my lights on. <laughs> right around in the dark. Alright, so I think that was pretty much everything that I'm going to sell for now. Um, we'll go ahead and check on our sprayer guy, and then we will actually go ahead and you know, I'm actually going to position the JCB over in the field, and then I'm going to move the uh, harvester over there. So, oh, I should see what those chickens eat. I forget what chickens eat. We'll have to go and look at the menu here in a second. So this guy's scooting right along, kind of. Not very, not very fast, huh? Pretty slow. How much does a nice sprayer cost? Oh, I got this thing. This is a mod. So whenever we decide to get um, some cows, this is a manure spreader. This thing is pretty cool. Like, you could fit fit a lot in there. So this will be what we're going to get instead of buying just a regular manure spreader. We're going to buy this bad boy. But uh, what's the width on this? Operating speed is 7 miles an hour, but it is 27, 48. Should we just lease one of these? What's their lease per day cost? Per day is a thousand nine fifty. Hmm. What about this one? Oh yeah, this one definitely. Right now, tires, standard tires. Um. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> decisions to make. Well, we'll go ahead and get this guy set over there, and then we'll decide. How much do you think that sprayer that we own is worth? Do you think it's worth selling? And then go ahead and use a, uh, just lease a sprayer? I don't want to, so that's my thing, I don't want to just be caught up in leasing all these, all this equipment, but it's really hard to buy new equipment. I, mean, I just don't want to sit and I mean I, I'm impatient. <laughs> I don't want to sit and wait for him to be done. All right, so we got we got the harvest draw. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a long time for this guy to do this field too. Hmm. So I don't think it'd be in our best interest really to. Yeah, see, it needs lime. I don't think it'd be in our best interest really to. Um, lease a sprayer as it would be to go ahead and try and lease a new harvester. So let's see what we have for harvester options. Uh, small, small, small. Uh, let's see what I got for mods. So we got these two bad boys. So this one has a maximum capacity of 14,100. 22,095. Okay. So as it's set up right now, it's two hundred and forty-seven thousand dollars. So we have the grain tank extension. How is that cheaper for a bigger grain tank? What is this total leasing cost per day? Two thousand two hundred eighty-five. Hmm. 
actually, what's the extended pipe bringing out to? Okay, um, I think we'll roll it like that. What about, what do we get for wheels? Do we want to run these wheels? I mean, what's the difference really going to be? What's the other option? Tracks? What the heck? That that brings it up uh, a couple hundred bucks. Really? I mean... Hmm. We'd be able to hold a lot of green in there. 22,000. That's more than the capacity of our wagon that we have. Hmm. Let's go ahead and lease this. Boy, that was a big decision to make. I can't believe I just did that that quickly. Let's go ahead and find a header for it. Do we want to use the John Deere header? Uh, I don't have a problem leasing headers because they're really cheap to lease. So we will go to the store and we're going to... Oh, look at this guy. What does he look like for me? It's a woo-wee. This thing looks like a spaceship pretty cool all right so let's go ahead and hook up to this header here and uh, we'll go ahead and get this bad boy rocking and rolling and uh, wow that's a wow that's really wide well, we're gonna go park this next to that other um, oh let's clip the curb there I'm gonna go ahead and set this next to that other um, oh my goodness there we go keep hitting stuff so we're gonna go set this next to the other um, harvester and we'll take a really good look and uh, see if this is actually worth it we didn't lose too much money so I think it'll be pretty good and it'll make harvesting go by a lot quicker because that's a lot of field for just that little guy to harvest oh excuse me Get down here. He's moving pretty quick. 24, 24 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for a combine. Harvester combine. Call combines. But uh, you know, you get this bad boy going. <clears throat> She's scooting. I like the tracks on it too. The tracks make it look really cool. I'm gonna head. Oh, that's a little too early. Nope, that's not too early. Turn. So we're gonna turn over here. Just, oh wow, wow! Just look at the size difference. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Look at that, I'm almost, I would wager that's almost double the width. Yeah. So I think this little guy, we might just keep him, um, what, oh, what mod do I have installed to where I can pick up a tractor? What, X? Oh, that wasn't that big of a throw. Okay, so I can, I can carry tractors. That's, no, 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 no. I just want to let me get in okay so we're gonna take this guy over to the other field and I think that's just where he's gonna live and be happy it's his world and he's gonna make it how he wants it Bob Ross I don't think Bob Ross ever said that anyways so we're gonna get over here and uh, put him right here we're gonna put him off to the side though oops almost clipped that Wow, I'm a terrible driver. So we're going to get him over here. Get him nice and uh, situated right here for now. I probably actually, you know where I'm going to put him? I'm going to go put him under the shed where he was the first time. So we're going to move and drive him over here and park him in the shed. Whip him around here. Like nice little drifty boy, huh? Hopefully, like last video, we don't hit these silly posts. All right, there we go. All right, so we got him in there. Okay, wow, this guy really lights up the area. Wow. That's a lot of light. Okay, so we're going to get him. Here we go. Um, all perfectly lined up here because that's how what we do here. All right. And then the John Deere is just scooting right along. But I feel like... Oh, my gosh. It's just these fields are very big. All right. The Welker's, Welker's Farm map is also very, very big. But, um, so he's, he's doing what he can with this little uh, cedar right now. So, all right, this guy is very slow.
we're actually he's nearing the end of what he's doing so we're gonna go ahead and uh, oh I'm in the wrong menu here all right save to my computer okay I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time a little bit and then we're gonna look at a new trailer so we can go to the garage really quick and we're gonna check and see so this sells for 19 thousand and it only holds I need one that holds more than um, 22,000 liters because that's what the other one holds so let's go check or and see uh, 31 45 and we just get the truck bins okay uh, I don't think I have anything interesting wow I have a lot of modded trailers that's crazy and this one holds 70,000 but I don't want to buy a semi truck what about auger wagons Hmm. 105. That's way too much money. Wow, that's expensive. Alright, so I think we'll just stick with the trailer for now. And we'll go ahead and get... Man, the decisions. Excuse me. I think we'll just roll with the little one that we have right now. So let's go ahead and start this guy. Big boy harvesting. Doing a great job, buddy. So we have we have dead weeds here. That's good. Good, 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 good. So these oats, they're looking really, really good. Nice dead weeds. So, oh, look at him go. Yeah. And, oh my goodness, we gotta get our sprayer. We're spraying that other field. This is looking really good, guys. Alright, um, what if we just had multiple sprayers? Instead of buying a spray truck. So, what do we have this? We have this one. What's the width of 36, 120, or 21, 36, 80,000 dollars, that's a lot of money. What about the one that I have right now, it's this one, 21, That's a problem with um, trying to speed things up while you're still harvesting or while you're still planting or something. You get fields that aren't all in the same boat. Like, look at this guy's got three, one, well, two different growing. Three, actually. You got a harvest, almost harvest, and then still fresh planted. And then you got this guy over here who's almost got harvest on one end, and he's still planting on the other end. So that's that's not good. All right, <clears throat> so we got this bad boy going here. Look at that, look at that. 14% full, one pass. So actually, you know what is gonna be a better idea? Is we're just gonna take him and we'll start him working like midway in the field or something. That may, that may help because uh, we'll just let this one grow. Oops, 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 oops. Oh well. How is this one looking for weeds? That looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll just yeah. All right, then he can just drive through the rest of the field. It's whatever. You missed a spot, my good sir. All right, yeah. So we're just gonna nah, no big deal. Just let him uh, drive through the field because that's what we do here at the Delta Project. We destroy our crops. Oh my goodness, we're not going to make it through anything. We need to fold the sprayer up. So we'll go ahead and fold him up really quick. Hopefully, quicker than that. Quicker than that. And unfold. And we'll get around this truck here. A tractor. Truck, tractor, tractor, truck. Oh my goodness. We're going to destroy so much of this field. Alright, sir. 
Start doing your magic. So why is it when you drive through the field, okay, it doesn't destroy their crops, but when a worker goes ahead and starts driving through the field doing his work, it doesn't destroy the field. Alright, that's perfect. So now we're going to take this tractor, or combine, harvester, whatever you guys want to call it, and we're going to go ahead and start harvesting uh, the field over here. So yeah, this guy's doing this guy's doing a really good job, but we'll see how this little one does. I don't think he's gonna do too well compared to the John Deere. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna start him probably right about here. All right, buddy, get to work. Let's ride along with him for a second while I check my phone. All right, done checking my phone. Nothing interesting there. Thirty-two percent. Yes, this guy's got a whole lot. That's good. That's really good. Okay, and uh, sir, you look like you're done. So we're gonna fold you up, and we're gonna take you over here. Go ahead and get you parked in the shed for now. Well, go, those guys are getting their harvest on. Oop. You guys get to see my trailer backing up skills. Oh my god, I'm terrible at it. Here we go. So if you guys are interested, I have a couple of videos out with uh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci is my brother. And uh, I have a couple of videos out. Uh, we're playing uh, Among Us. So that is a series you guys should really go check out. It's a lot of fun. And it's a great time. So we're going to unhook from him. We're going to go ahead and park the uh, big old John Deere next to this kind of small, wimpy little tractor. Well, I guess... Now that I'm next to him, it doesn't look too small. Alright, so we got the JCB. This bad boy is doing his thing with the herbal aside. Yeah, one pass and he's at 27%. This guy has made three passes and is only at 60... Uh, 60 oh my gosh, dyslexia. 46%. So. Alright guys, so we're going to end it here. This is... Uh, Thanks for watching the Delta Project. Uh, in the next video, we're going to finish up harvest on this field, and we'll start the harvest on this field here. And then hopefully by the end of those both those harvests, we'll be able to start getting into some beet production, so or some sugar beet production. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.